It's not like there's no shortage of things that you can do with your money. There's a million things you can do with it. So you're not in a great bargaining position. And then if you get venture capitalists involved, they'll take another big chunk. And maybe if they're not very straight with you, they'll just throw you out. Because maybe by that point in the company's development, you're nothing but a pain in the neck. Because what do you know about marketing and sales and customer service and building an organization and running a business? Like, you don't have a clue. So why do they need you? So even if you're successful at generating a new idea and you put it into a business, the probability that you, as the originator of the idea, are going to make some money from it is very, very low. So don't be thinking that creativity is such a, is something you would want to curse yourself with. Now, you know, it's not all bad because it, it opens up avenues of experience for creative people that aren't available to people who aren't creative. But it definitely is a high risk, high return strategy. You know, so the overwhelming probability is that you will fail. But a small proportion of creative people succeed spectacularly. And so it's like a lottery in some sense. You're probably going to lose. But if you don't lose, you could win big. And that keeps a lot of creative people going. But also, they don't really have much choice in it. Because if you're a creative person, you're like a fruit tree that's bearing fruit. You can suppress it, but it's very bad for you. You know, the creative people I've worked with is if they're not creative, they're miserable, so they have to do it. You know, there's real joy and, and pleasure in it and, and psychological utility, but it's certainly not a conservative strategy for moving forward through life. And, you know, whenever I talk to people who are creative, and you, you guys should listen to this because I know what I'm talking about. If you happen to be creative, if you're a songwriter or another kind of musician or an artist or any of the other number of things that you might be, find a way to make money and then practice your craft on the side because you'll starve to death otherwise. Now, for some of you, that won't be true, but it's a tiny minority. Your best bet is to find a job that will keep body and soul together and parse off some time that you can pursue your creative thing because then, well, as a long-term strategy, a medium to long-term strategy, it's a better one. But it's got incredibly difficult for people, musicians, for example, it's incredibly difficult for new musicians to monetize their craft, even if they're really, really good at it.